Mindanao Beach. Shortly after dawn, following a 40-minute naval barrage to silence the shore defenses, the first wave landing craft carrying 36 men each began landing. Most of the Germans had survived the opening barrage and now took a heavy toll on the invaders. But the Canadians would not be stopped. Ten minutes after the first wave had landed, swimming Sherman tanks emerged out of the water and turned the tide of the battle. Forty minutes after the first wave, the second wave landed, and by noon, the beach was all Canadian. The Royal Canadian Navy played a major role at Juneau. They faced a daunting task, land 15,000 soldiers, several hundred tanks, hundreds of artillery guns, thousands of vehicles, and tons of supplies. Hundreds of specially designed landing craft would do the job. The LCA, Landing Craft Assault, carried 36 soldiers and comprised the first and second waves. LCIs, Landing Craft Infantry, carried about 200 men each and brought in the reserve soldiers. LCTs, Landing Craft Tanks, carried four Sherman tanks or other vehicles. The RCN contributed two large troop ships, converted passenger liners. HMCS Prince David and HMCS Prince Henry combined carried 16 LCAs and 1,000 soldiers. Only eight LCAs survived the landings, and amazingly, casualties were seven sailors wounded. Twelve Canadian crewed LCIs, carrying 2,016 soldiers of the 9th Infantry Brigade, began landing once the beach was secured. Several hit mines, but managed to get the soldiers safely ashore. The LCIs evacuated wounded on the return trip. Seven RCN LCIs landed 1,200 British soldiers at Gold Beach. The Royal Canadian Navy landed 4,600 soldiers that day and countless vehicles. Despite heavy fire from the beach defenses and a barricade of deadly beach obstacles, the skill, courage, and tenacity of the landing craft crews got the majority of the soldiers to the beach. It was an impressive performance, which is often overlooked in the annals of D-Day. <laughs> 